Hey, what's up? Dean from Powerhouse Miniatures. How you doing? Welcome to another commission painting showcase. Warhammer 40k Iron Hands Land Speeders. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much them. Iron Hands Land Speeders. So it's the Land Speeder Storm. Uh, the guy that's got the scouts in. Uh, there's usually scouts like hanging off the little back bit, but um, I've left them off by request to the customer. So we have got uh, basically uh, the two guys in the front. Um, I'm just gonna turn these around real gentle. So they're the normal scouts, but they've got Adeptus Mechanicus um, heads uh, on either one of the you know the, um, the gunner and then the pilot. Basically, from the Catafron destroyers and Catafron breaches for uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus or the um, or the Skitari, I forget which one it is, or like both. They got these little arms that come off some of the weapons, so I use those as opposed to arms to give them this cool, like, you know, cybernetic sort of more machine than man um, sort of a look, which is pretty badass. So um, this one's obviously got the actual arm on it, which is holding the minigun, and I'll talk about those just in a second. But um, this guy's got two cybernetic arms um, and some like wire emplacements. This guy's like embedded in, and he's got two of the arms. This guy's got a little um, claw arm thing, and then the, the couple of bits on the side. So looking really cool. And their skin tone was Rakarth flesh, so like a pallid, um, like a cold uh, skin tone. They fit in with the fluff real nice, apart from the fact that they're mostly metallic, and I've got a load of like um, augmentations and upgrades and stuff. Um, it just it just fits in really well with them. Just their entire theme is really easy to sort of replicate, you know, really easy to represent, especially with conversions. Um, just to go everything augmentic, everything sort of cybernetic, mechanical limbs and everything, like they're really easy to um to convert, which is one of the reasons I really enjoy the Iron Hands. Like I'm starting an Iron Hands 30k army. Well, I've got, you know, I've got the betrayal at Calf Box and a few upgrades, so I've been sort of working on them slowly just for myself. Uh, but yeah, I've mentioned in pretty much every video I'm getting obsessed with the Gene Stealer cult again. So I think this month, uh, obviously on Saturday, well, on October first, twenty sixteen, when their one comes out, I'll uh, I'll take a hit when they uh, when some of their new models come out. So that's pretty much it. We got the um, Forge World Iron Hands thirty k transfers. So this little like Eye of Horus thing. It's not obviously Eye of Horus. It's just like a little Illuminati looking symbol. <laughs> and then the Iron Hands symbol on the back, um, obviously on each side on the back, and then on the shoulder pad of the pilot and gunner, just the little Iron Hands symbol. So yeah, now the minigun in the centre is from Zynga Industries, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, it's Z-I-N-G-E Industries, and I bought them on eBay basically, so it's like a realistic 28mm minigun, which is badass, so I mounted that on the centre. Uh, of the cockpit, I'm not sure what it might, you know, probably represent a heavy bolt or an assault cannon or something. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's what it was. 28 millimeter minigun. If you type that into eBay, you'll find a few, and I found a few different ones. But Zynga Industries is the one that I went with. So uh, if if that's even how you pronounce it, so is that? And then it came with the um, the main body of the gun, and an ammo box, and then a belt feed, and then on both of them, the belt feed itself. Let me move this across uh, one. The belt feed itself. Is uh, it? Well, it's, it's movable. Basically, it's like a wire cleaner or something that has um, it's like a rubber coating and then two um, movable, like posable wire um, cores, so you, you could move it and pose it wherever you liked. So this one, I've done it sort of draped across and hanging like backwards, you know, to give it sort of a dynamic look. But you could obviously mess about with that as well. Um, they had. Um, it wasn't Zynga Industries, it was a different one that had like shell casings. So you could um, mount some like 3D shell casings that were firing out. Um, get one of those muzzle flash effects from Armacast or whoever sells them now online. And put a huge like muzzle flash on the top of the gun and have the shell casings coming out and all the rest of it. Um, it'd rack up money quite quick and it would take a long time, but that'd be awesome. It's something I'm looking forward to in the future, making them um, sort of super dynamic. But yeah, it looks really cool, man. Like little mini guns, 28mm mini guns. And uh, yeah, the long ammo feed. Of course, uh, you could clip that to any size as well. So I left it. This is probably the full length. Or you know, clips a little piece off the edge so they glue onto the gun and the uh, the ammo cache. But you could uh, you could have it as long or as short as you want, sort of thing. So that's it. So two Iron Hands Land Speeders. Like I said, it's the Land Speeder Storms, but without the there's like four crew guys, I think, uh, or like three or four. Three, um, I think you get six in total. 
So it's the gunner and the pilot, and then four guys or three guys or something like that that hang in in the back of the uh, uh, the land speeder itself. But obviously left them off uh, as per customer instruction. So there you go, badass. So uh, uh, it was with the airbrush. I did. Um, let's have a look. I've got a paint here. Uh, Mechanica standard grey, basically. That uh, was airbrushed over her chaos black non oil wash. Um, and you know, I aimed the airbrush at the corners and stuff like that to create a fade off from each side, fade there, 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 you know, across like the logical areas. And then green, red, and white, um, like glowing parts inside the cockpit with like an OSL effect, red lenses, um, chips weathering and damaged, the little uh, rockets on the front there as well. Obviously, just white with their uh, yellow tips. And that is it. So, loads and loads of fun. Um, it's always cool to convert some of these ones. Obviously, uh, I've never used some of the Zynga industry, or I don't know, again, I'm just saying Zynga, whatever. <laughs> some of the uh, conversion parts, the 28mm conversion parts, absolutely badass. Um, and I would highly recommend them, really cheap as well. So, for this sort of thing, um, obviously, it's a perfect scale. Uh, really high quality and really cheap, so check them out on eBay. Like I said, 28 mm minigun on, on eBay. And there was a few different, um, few different varieties, but this is the one I went for. So that's it. So there's some HD pictures on my Facebook page, which is facebookcom powerhouse miniatures and that is pretty much it. Um, and again, just put me into Google, and you'll find everything on there. So as always, cheers for watching, and have a good day.